So before anything else we get started, we want to preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just placing a damp towel underneath my cutting board so the cutting board won't be sliding all over the place. Just a little trick to have before cutting any vegetables. And um, this is my butternut squash. I'm just chopping off the ends. I washed and I uh, peeled it. I'll be cutting that. Cut that in half as well. Make sure that you have a good knife, sharp knife, or else you're going to struggle a little bit with the butternut squash. It is very hard to chop. And then we're going to cut those pieces in half. And then now I'm just using a spoon just to remove any seeds off that. And then just continue to chop. And I chopped uh, the butternut squash on like a nickel size. Just a little trick when, when you're chopping vegetables, just do like a claw formation and so you won't cut any fingers off. So this is a, the butternut squash all chopped and ready to go. I'm just putting it in a, a, a baking sheet. I'm adding the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, it was about a pint and then three cloves of garlic and then to that I added tablespoon of olive oil all over and I'm adding a little bit of Himalayan pink salt you can use kosher salt but I just like that one and a little bit of pepper so I added about a teaspoon of salt and then I tossed everything together roasted it and this is the finished product I roasted it for 30 minutes in the oven stir it um, add it to a food processor if not a blender works well which is what I used I added a cup of cilantro and then I added two tablespoons of chipotle and that is all for this recipe it's so simple and so good i hope you enjoy let me know what you think comment down below uh and thank you all for watching